Bioresonance is an ability that holds vital importance to the story and plot of Signalis. However, what exactly it is, isn't exactly known. Not just to us, the players, but also to the characters in the universe as well. However, using multiple sources across the game, we can gather what is known about this mysterious power by the various powers, and try in the process to gain a greater understanding of it as a whole. So starting off, we really should differentiate between the nation's view of this ability, as well as the empire's view. Very clear sure that the nation, while it still holds bioresonance in high importance, doesn't hold it as nearly in high reverence as the empire does. In the nations, one of the prime references we have to refer to bioresonance and the nation's understanding of bioresonance in a whole is a document regarding its possibility of falling behind in technology development. This document is the bioresonance technology and its limits. This document reads as follows. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like climaforming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus on this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt host to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to the pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely for, with acro processors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. This document confirms that bioresonance is not a conventional technology, but rather a poorly understood ability held by a few individuals. It also establishes that likely in the Empire, bioresonant individuals held vast controls over society, which is something when we go over to the Empire and read their perspective on is definitely reaffirmed. Because in the alternate perspective of the Empire's perspective, we can mainly know what they think about bioresonance through the Song of the Gods banned book. This reads as follows. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of. A song that we all dance to but few can hear. The deep vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born who can not only hear and play this music of the world, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the Empire Yusan and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that embedded life in the first machine servants that now carry the weight of the Empire on their carbon steel backs. It expresses that the understanding of bioresonance is much more of a spiritual idea in the Empire that shapes the universe. That they believe that within the universe there are people who can hear and people who can manipulate this essence, but that their leader, the founder of their society, was one such person who could use bioresonance to manipulate reality using bioresonance. And it really just establishes it more as a religious concept within the empire, as opposed to in the nation where it is a technology. On a practical note, it conveys that the power of bioresonance allowed for the initial creation of replicas, as well as was strong enough to bend all of humanity under one banner, be this by manipulating reality, her vast powers just overpowering all other forces, or even more possible, she could have just mind controlled the entire country or the entire world, because that is something bioresonance can do. Uh, we don't know exactly how the Grand Empress took control of all of humanity, but it is definitely something that Bioresonance could have pulled off. We can see Bioresonance in action throughout the events of the game by the Calibri units, Falk, and by Arion. However, due to the levels of mystery that surround Arion in particular, for today's video I will just be so focusing on Falk and the Calibri units because I want to leave Arion, who is shrouded in mystery, shrouded in theory, off the table when it comes to the lore regarding bioresonance so we don't have any possible uh, contradictions or confusions. So we see bioresonance in action by fighting both the Calibris and Falk. So while fighting Calibris, they will be creating fake copies of themselves. These are just creations that are 
in reality. You can view them as a fake creation that we see that doesn't fully exist, or it could be they are literally creating fake copies of themselves. As well as when one gets too close to a Calibri, an image of the Island of the Dead will slowly begin to dominate the screen along with various phrases. This has been interpreted as the Calibri beaming the images of the island into your head as well as these phrases, demonstrating that bioresonance grants the user a degree of mind control, and an, which is something that is supported by documents uh, talking about the war powers of Calibri and their entire use in a cadre in the first place. So it definitely establishes that bioresonance has definitively mind control powers to a degree. Folk is the other one that we need to look at. Uh, she is established as being the strongest bioresonant replica produced by the nation. And this replica has the powers, much like Calibri, to influence one's thoughts, which can be seen as in practicality with her transmission of thoughts in the final battle, but is also mentioned all throughout any lore document talking about Falk. Falk's powers do go far beyond just that. With her being able to use her bioresonance to completely change the location in which you're fighting her during her boss fight, she also completely creates star shields out of nothingness. Um, and most akin to just being a purely bioresonant attack are her orbs, which seem to have a strange reality distorting ability and permeate out from her as an attack when she is wounded, as well as her blast of gravity she does. Overall, Folk exhibits lots of abilities that are shown as just being purely reality distorting, which does contextualize just how powerful bioresonance can be. In conclusion, by reviewing all the references, we can conclude that the powers of bioresonant are vast. In fact, we can really honestly conclude that it might not have a limit. Being able to distort reality, influence thoughts, and possibly even create life, it, it, there is really no clear limit of what it can do if you get a strong enough bioresonant. And even the only document which talks about its limitations only really complains about the number of people who have the ability, not exactly its powers. And it could explain how Arion could gain the vast power she controls, and also could really explain a lot of the questions of the game and lore of just how is this possible, well, because bioresonance can really distort reality on a level that is far higher than um, previously was being given credit in theory writing. I think this is something important for us to consider moving forward in the lore, that there is a lore explanation for a lot of things, um, and it is bioresonance. But if you'd like to see this all in an organized spot, I made a wiki page specifically for this video, which will be linked below. Speaking of links, if you'd like to speak to others and knowledge players, I've updated my links for the descriptions. But just hopefully these Discord links are working now. They weren't working prior. Hopefully they should work now. I updated all of them. Hopefully they work now. If they don't, let me know. But this has been Christopher Beast. I hope you enjoyed. And well, I hope to see you all next time. Mm -hmm.